This week's stories include pandemic unemployment assistance is extended across the country. Caviar and DoorDash are transitioning into a combined platform and Uber deducts millions from drivers' wages for airport tickets they can't appeal and a Postmate is harassed again. Hi there and welcome back to This Week in Rideshare and Gig Economy News. With the number of COVID-19 cases on the rise, and states shutting down again, many states have announced that they are in fact extending unemployment benefits. Now a list of these states are attached in the link below. The only state that hasn't extended benefits is South Dakota and I looked at their website and it seems that they haven't offered an extension plan yet, but they've also showed week by week a decrease in actual claimants, which is good. It seems that business is returning back to normal in South Dakota and so they probably aren't in need of a PUA extension. So Caviar drivers received an email this week announcing the combined platform for both Dasher and Caviar drivers. The email instructed drivers to opt in. The option will take you uh, from the Caviar platform and you'll be able to create a Dasher account. Now, if you are a Dasher already, you won't need to do this. Um, all you'll need to do is log into your Dasher account like normal. Caviar was the best platform for me. I received the most tips and the highest pay up until last year when I was doing it at Christmas time. My hope is that my Caviar Dasher friends out there will be able to make a decent living now that they're transforming to the DoorDash platform. Now, Uber has been deducting money from drivers' paychecks for citations they can't appeal, and experts say this practice is unconstitutional, mainly because these drivers don't know what they've been cited for a lot of the time and have no way to contest. Now, contracts arranged between Uber and the airports allow for police officers to send citations directly to Uber. In addition, each driver signs a contract allowing Uber to deduct any toll or citation fees from your pay. Now, more often than not, drivers say that they weren't aware of the citation until Uber advised them of the wage deduction. Mobile Workers Alliance, a Southern California advocacy group for rideshare drivers, shared that Uber drivers paid $3.8 million in fines from 2016 to 2019 to LAX alone. Now, according to Vice.com, experts say that this system is a violation of the driver's constitutionally enshrined due process rights, which say that government cannot take legal action against a person without notifying them of charges or action and offering the person an opportunity to present their case before a neutral party. Now, under normal circumstances, drivers in the United States have a right to dispute parking and traffic citations in court, and often they do so successfully. I've done it many times. Now, common reasons for citations at airports include not displaying an Uber placard, stopping for too long in a pedestrian zone, and parking outside designated areas for rideshare drivers. To add, Uber did decline to comment why it handles citations this way, and apparently Lyft does absorb all of their airport citations. Now let's turn to an all familiar story. A Postmate was just trying to make a delivery and this happened. You know you're mad, okay. I'm glad I was so here. you're not gonna let I'm me in to deliver I, this food. Buzz people in. I have the know. number. Yeah, we don't like pictures. I mean, I'm just- no, don't, don't point that shit at me. I'm trying don't to. Point that fucking I have food I have to deliver to somebody, man. Don't, don't deliver anything here. We don't well, want you you're, delivery. you're not. We don't want you you didn't get the here. food. I don't want you. I don't want you here. Building, who is this? Uh, your food who is. Who is this? Who, uh, I, this is Paul Morphus. I'm in 212. I'm, I'm getting a Postmate delivery. A Postmate delivery in 212. 212 where? My building because you don't live here. I, I'm I'm a black man. I'm trying to deliver. My mom I don't care if a, he's a purple mom, man. I'm working for my mom. Here. Her name is Anna. I'm, yeah, I don't care. My name is Jordan. I'm trying to deliver your, your food. Is, she said she doesn't want me near here. He's not going to be buzzed in. No, I just want to get, get your food. food. Yeah, just get your food. Thank you, Paul. I haven't gone. Sorry oh. about that. Yeah, why haven't I? Jesus Christ, it's crazy. <sighs> what do you say about this kind of stuff? And now it's time for what would you do? So this kid writes, I'm stuck with a customer who booked a ride to and from the grocery store 
and had a ride request come in. Second customer called me to cancel since I wasn't moving. Okay, it's a shame that the customer did not want to cancel and want me to cancel since she's been waiting for a while. I marked it as an accidental pickup, but is there a way to do so without affecting my numbers? Huh? Okay, so it's obvious that this person is a new driver and I also gather that he's he or she is concerned about their rating. Um, first and foremost, sometimes you're gonna have to cancel, so get used to it, especially if it's a self-preservation tactic, preserving your peace, preserving your time, preserving your ability to make money. You, you should be very youth-centric in this sense. Uh, this person is pretty crazy to think that you would sit there at the store in the parking lot and wait while they shop. Like, yeah, right. Like, what planet are you on? <laughs> I can't make a family member do this for me. How, how am I going to pay you $10 to do this? So, yeah, craziness. If you see someone do something like that, immediately ask them the question before you even get in the, they get in the car or before you even start the trip. Hey, are you trying to go in the store and shop? Because if that's the case, then you're going to have to uh, adjust, adjust the trip. I can drop you off there. Um, if I'm in the area and I get your ping that I can come back, but I'm not going to be able to wait while you go into the store. Like, especially right now, going to the store is an all out affair, six feet apart, plexiglass. Sometimes people are waiting in line. Like there's just no way, absolutely no way. And what's funny, this person actually wrote this, he wrote this note, she or he wrote this note while they're waiting for the person in the grocery store. God bless her or him what say you what would you do in this case thank you guys so much for watching it's been a pleasure bringing you guys the news every single week if you have any tips for me you can hit me up on my youtube or on my facebook please be safe out there and i look forward to seeing you guys again next week bye